In this video, we will talk about creating table function using HANA Studio. Table function replaces scripted calculation views when conducting data modeling. In rare cases, an SQL scripted view is being used to create semantic layer and consumed by the different analytical tools. The current best practice recommends using table function instead. What is a table function? It's a read-only, user-defined table function which accepts multiple input parameters and return exactly one results table. SQL script is the only language that is supported. Only read-only statements like select can be used within the function. Therefore, you may not use statements like insert, update, or delete. Use table function in case you cannot complete your calculation view graphically. Table functions cannot be deployed in Business One directly. Instead, they will be used as part of a graphical calculation view, which can be deployed in the system as needed. To create table function, you must be in the development perspective. If you do this for the first time, you would need to create a repository workspace. Next, you create a new table function, select a package it will be located in, enter the SQL statement, save and activate it. Finally, in the modeler perspective, use the table function in a graphical calculation view. Let's take a look at this process with a simple query. First, we switch from the modeler to the development perspective. Under the Repository tab, we're going to create a repository workspace. And remember, this is a one-time operation. Once you create the workspace, you're not going to have to do it again. After you select your system, you can provide a name and you can uh, finish to create the workspace. I already have one, so I don't need to continue. If I go ahead and open the system, I can see the workspace that was created. And in this case, I'm going to work at a package called SAP Training. Now I'm ready to create my table function. I'm going to go to File, New, Other. You can uh, search to find table function and go Next. Select the package where it's going to be located and provide it with a name. In this case, I'm going to do a quick query on AP invoices. Go ahead and click Finish. And the table function will be created with some default parameters, which we're going to talk about. Let's take a closer look at the elements of the query the system provides. The first section says that it's a table function and the location of the table function. In the parentheses, you can enter any input parameters uh, that you're going to include in the query later on. Next, you identify what kind of function to return. We would use here table. The language is SQL script, no need to change anything and the SQL security as set. Then you begin in the green area here in the comments, you delete that and you start your query. Here is an example of a quick query I created to retrieve AP invoices that shows the number of invoices, the vendor code, name, the total discount and the total amount, and it is grouped by uh, the card code and the card name. As you can see, the return table will identify the output fields, what the query will show me when I run it. In this case, I used an alias for some of the field names, like the number of invoices. So you can see here in the select area that I uh, 
I did a count function on the document number and gave it an alias of num of invoices. So in this case, you want you have to make sure that the return output fields match exactly the select fields. If there is a mismatch, it's going to give you an error about that uh, those differences. For example, uh, card code, I also changed to vendor code, so that's what I'm using. I actually used aliases for all of them. Then I left everything the same, and under uh, after the begin and return, I started the query. It's just a standard SQL query, uh, again, of AP invoices, OPCH, and I also identify the schema name in the query itself. Always remember to end the query with a semicolon. Now that the query is ready, I can go ahead and activate it. At this point, it's going to validate the syntax as well. We'll activate it. And now I have a new table function right here in my package. If I go ahead and switch to the modeler perspective, go ahead to content, SAP training, I'm going to see my table function right here. In case you come in here and you don't see your table function, there is an indicator that there are hidden objects. Go to Windows, Preferences, open SAP HANA, Modeler, and Current Presentation, and make sure the Show All Object uh, checkbox is selected. Now, if I create a new calculation view, let's go ahead and create a quick graphical calculation view for a purchasing report, maybe. Go ahead and finish it to create a new one. I can now drag and drop my table function into any of the nodes of the um, graphical calculation view and the fields I defined as output or as uh, select will show up as any other standard table I might include in a graphical calculation view. Of course, the table function can be just a small part of a bigger calculation view and not just based on that. But of course, it can be uh, a standalone view but once again, usually I'm going to add a table function to be just part of another graphical calculation view. From this point on, I can continue with my view, save and activate, and even deploy it in Business One main menu. Thank you for your time.